But anyway, all right, Exodus chapter number 16, beginning in verse 32, and Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commandeth. Fill an omer of it, the it there, talking about the manna, to be kept for your generations. You say, what's an omer? Well, everybody knows that. That's the tenth part of an ephah, <laughs> according to verse 36. <laughs> he said, fill an omer of it to be kept for your generations, that they may see the bread wherewith I have fed you in the wilderness, when I brought you forth from the land of Egypt. You know, oftentimes God tells us we need to remember what He's done for us. And sometimes we need aids. We need help to remind us. So He's saying, keep this so you'll remember, so you'll know uh, how I fed you with the manna. Moses said unto Aaron, take a pot, put an omer full of manna therein, and lay it up before the Lord to be kept for your generations. As the Lord commanded Moses, so Aaron laid it up before the testimony to be kept. Now the question is, what is the testimony in verse 34? And the reason why that's a question is, um, you know, if you're familiar with the book of Exodus, you would immediately say, well, that's the Ark of the Testimony. But, you know, that wasn't built yet. So that, that's why uh, Eric was asking about this. What is this testimony in verse 34 since the Ark of the Testimony wasn't built yet? Now... I don't think that verse 34 occurred immediately, but rather it refers to what Aaron did after the ark was built. Look at verse 35. And the children of Israel did eat manna 40 years until they came to a land inhabited. They did eat manna until they came to the borders of the land of Canaan. So there's a gap in here. <laughs> Sometimes in the Bible, God will skip over a period without saying anything about it. So he says, laid up before the Lord. Well, obviously this was written after the wilderness journey because he refers to the whole 40 years. So I think the, what's going on here is he was told to do this. And when the, when the ark was built, he put that manna in there. So in other words, verse 34 doesn't happen immediately after verse 33. Uh, Moses told him to lay it up before the Lord. Well, how was he going to do that? <laughs> the Lord met with the high priest at the Ark of the Covenant. Look in Exodus 25. Exodus 25, verse 22. When he's talking about building the Ark. That ark's basically like a, like a coffin, you know. And uh, you have the mercy seat on top, the cherubims. In it were uh, several items. You had the, um, the, the tables of the law. Uh, you had Aaron's rod that budded. And you had this pot of manna. Uh, these things were in the ark. Exodus 25, 22. And there, talking about at the ark... The mercy seat, verse 21 talks about the mercy seat above upon the ark, and in the ark, let's read verse 21. Thou shalt put the mercy seat above upon the ark, and in the ark thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give thee. Well, that has to do with the, the tables of the law, but everything in that was a testimony to what the Lord had done. Again, Aaron's rod that budded, you know the story there, proving that he is the appointed uh, high priest he, that was challenged by Korah. Um, how that rod brought forth buds. And that's that there's a picture in there of the resurrection of Christ. But anyway, who is the great high priest? But, um, and then that, the manna there. So that's testifying to what the Lord had done for his people. Verse 22, And there will I meet with thee, and I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubims, which are upon the ark of the testimony. See that? The ark of the testimony. Of all things which I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. So when Moses tells Aaron to lay it up before the Lord, where is the Lord going to meet with him? Right there at the mercy seat. That's where the blood, you know, on the day of atonement, when the high priest would enter in once a year and put that blood on the mercy seat for the sins of the people, he would meet with the high priest there. And so the Ark of the Testimony. 
It's called the Ark of the Testimony 16 times. So, Exodus 16.34, he laid it up before the testimony. I take that to be the Ark of the Testimony. Question, why is it capitalized? <laughs> All right, that's the only time it's capitalized. Testimony with a capital T. Who's he supposed to lay it up before? The Lord. Where does he put it? Before the testimony. You know, you can't separate God and His Word. God reveals Himself through His Word. It's His testimony. His law. Okay? So I think it's capitalized because it's the first reference, and it's the Word of God. And it's got to do with God's revelation of His righteous commandments. So, that's how I take the passage. Anybody got anything to add on that?